Buran Russian, Buran IPA, B ran, meaning snowstorm or blizzard. Grau Index serial number 11F35K1 was the first spaceplane to be produced as part of the Soviet Russian Buran program. It is, depending on the source, also known as OK1K1, OK Orbiter K1, OK1.01, OK or Shuttle 1.01. Besides describing the first operational Soviet – Russian shuttle orbiter, Buran was also the designation for the whole Soviet – Russian spaceplane project and its orbiters, which were known as Buran-class spaceplanes. OK-1K1 OK completed one unmanned spaceflight in 1988, and was destroyed in 2002 when the hangar it was stored in collapsed. It remains the only Soviet reusable spacecraft to be launched into space. The Buran class orbiters used the expendable Energia rocket, a class of super heavy lift launch vehicle. Topic: <laughs> Construction. The construction of the Buran class space shuttle orbiters began in 1980, and by 1984 the first full-scale orbiter was rolled out. Construction of a second orbiter OK-1K2, informally known as Tichka, started in 1988. The Buran program ended in 1993. <laughs> <laughs> Operational history Orbital <laughs> flight <laughs> 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 The only orbital launch of a Buran class orbiter occurred at 3 hours 0 minutes and 2 seconds coordinated universal time on the 15th of November 1988 from Baikonur Cosmodrome launch pad 110/37. Buran was lifted into space on an unmanned mission by the specially designed Energia rocket. The automated launch sequence performed as specified and the Energia rocket lifted the vehicle into a temporary orbit before the orbiter separated as programmed. After boosting itself to a higher orbit and completing two orbits around the Earth, the ODU Russian, Obedinena Dvigatelna Ustanovka S combined propulsion system engines fired automatically to begin the descent into the atmosphere, return to the launch site, and horizontal landing on a runway. After making an automated approach to Site 251, known as Ubelani Airfield, Buran touched down under its own control at 6 hours 24 minutes and 42 seconds coordinated universal time and came to a stop at 6 hours 20 25 minutes and 24 seconds, 206 minutes after launch. Despite a lateral wind speed of 61.2 km per hour, 38.0 miles per hour, Buran landed only 3 meters (9.8 feet) laterally and 10 meters (33 feet) longitudinally from the target mark. It was the first space shuttle to perform an unmanned flight, including landing in fully automatic mode. It was later found that Buran had lost only 8 of its 38,000 thermal tiles over the course of its flight. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Projected flights. In 1989, it was projected that OK-1K1 OK would have an unmanned second flight by 1993 with a duration of 15 to 20 days. Although the Buran program was never officially cancelled, the dissolution of the Soviet Union led to funding drying up and this never took place. Other flights In June 1989, Buran was carried on the back of the Antonov N 225 and took part in the 1989 Paris Air Show. In 1990, it appeared at the Farnborough Air Show. Another flight of the spacecraft did not occur as together with the Energia carrier it was later put in a hangar at the Baikonur Cosmodrome, Kazakhstan. Fate On 12 May 2002, during a severe storm at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, the MiG-112 hangar housing OK-1K1 OK collapsed as a result of poor maintenance. The collapse killed eight workers and destroyed the craft as well as an Energia carrier rocket. See also 
OKGLI, OK Buran Analog BST-02 Test Vehicle The Koyan Gurevich MiG-105 Soviet Orbital Spaceplane Space Shuttle Program United States. <laughs>